Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and AI tutorials. We are continuing strong with covering different AI models and with explaining how to install and run them locally. In this video tutorial we are going to cover one very important model published by Alibaba. The name of this model is QWQ32B and let's immediately jump on the point and let's explain the importance of this model. This graph shows the performance of QWQ32B and compares its performance with the performance of the state-of-the-art models such as DeepSeek R1 670B, OpenAIO, DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama with 70B parameters and DeepSeek R1 Distilled Quen with 32B parameters. These red rectangles represent the performance of QWQ32B. Now, immediately it's obvious that the performance of QWQ32B is comparable to the performance of DeepSeek R1 with 671B parameters. However, QWQ has much smaller number of parameters. That is, you can actually run QWQ locally, however, DeepSeek R1 probably requires a supercomputer or a very powerful server to be executed locally. Another interesting thing can be observed from this graph. Namely, if you compare the performance of QWQ, that is these red rectangles, with the performance of DeepSeek R1, distilled with 70B parameters, that is these rectangles over here, you can see that QWQ has better performance. Also, QWQ has a better performance compared to OpenAI O Mini, and this is really, really important. In my opinion, this might be the best model that can be executed locally, and in my future video tutorials, I'm going to confirm that. However, this graph already shows that. Of course, if this graph is accurate, and the people who published this graph didn't fake the results. Hopefully not. Next, we will explain how to install this model locally. You have two options for installing this model. One option is to go to the Hugging Face or to GitHub to download the safe tensor files and then to use the Python code shown over here and to run this code. And this approach might be a little bit tricky for people who are not familiar with machine learning, Python and large language models. Another approach, which is more easier, is to use OLAMA, that is to pull the model from OLAMA and then to use Open Web UI to create a graphics user interface such that we can run in a nice model and in a nice window with a graphics user interface this model. And we are going to follow the second approach in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to install and run this amazing model in a graphics user interface. And over here, you can see the graphics user interface and demonstration. Namely, over here, I ask how to solve this equation. And over here is the response. And note that the model is running completely locally on your local computer. We will be installing and testing this model on a computer with 64 gigabyte of RAM with NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabyte of VRAM and over here you can see the CPU specs. The computer has 10 cores and 20 logical processors and I think this is Intel i9 processor. Okay, so let's start. The first step is to go to the Olama website and to download Olama. To do that, simply click here and click on download for Windows and save it in your downloads folder. Be patient. It might take maybe even up to a minute to download Olama. After downloading Olama, double click on this file and the installation process will start. The installation is pretty straightforward. You just need to click on install and Olama will be installed. Next, let's verify that Olama is installed. If you click here, you should see this cute icon representing Olama. However, the best strategy to test Olama is to click here, search for command prompt, open command prompt, and over here, try to type 
Olam. And if you see something like this, that is, if you see a generic reply, this means that Olama is properly installed. Good. The next step is to download or to pull the model. To download the model, go back to the base Olama website and then over here search for a model, search for QWQ and here it is. Note over here that this model is already pulled almost 500,000 times and this is really really important and this shows how powerful this model is since user will not download the model if it's not useful. Okay, so to download this model copy this command over here, go back to the terminal and then in the terminal type this, however change run to pull since we just want to download the model and press enter. It's going to take a while to download this model, maybe up to five minutes on my computer, however in your case it might take longer or shorter depending on how fast is your internet connection. After the model is downloaded you will see this and then type Olama list to see that the model is actually downloaded. Now let's test the model by typing Olama run and let's copy the model name and press enter. And in this way we will test the model in our graphics user interface. At the same time let's open up task manager and let's see GPU memory consumption and let's see the GPU processor power and how much it's being used. Immediately I can observe over here while the model is being loaded that we have almost used the memory. That is, we have used around 20 gigabytes of memory and that's precisely how big is the model. Okay, so let's go over here and let's test the model. Who are you? And let's see the answer. Okay, let's see how it, the model responds. Wow. We can see that the model works in real time and over here you can see my GPU consumption. Good. This means that model is working. Now, I like to use terminals and I can even run this model in a terminal. However, a lot of users don't like terminals. Consequently, let's learn how to generate a graphics user interface such that we can run this model. First of all, let's exit the model by pressing Ctrl V. So here is the idea. First, I'm going to create a workspace folder, then I'm going to create and activate a Python virtual environment, and inside of this Python virtual environment, I'm going to install Open Web UI, and I'm going to simply start Open Web UI, and Open Web UI will automatically recognize the model. So let's do that. Okay, first of all, I'm going to resize this window, this terminal, I'll put it here. And over here I prepare commands that I need to type in order to install everything. The installation is super simple. First of all, make sure that you have Python in your system by typing this. My suggestion is to use Python 3.12. Don't use Python 3.13 since CUDA has some issues. That is PyTorch with CUDA support has some issues with Python 3.13. Okay, so let's go to the C drive and on the C drive let's create a folder called test web UI. Then let's navigate to this. Oops, I didn't want this. Let's navigate to the test web UI folder and inside of this folder let's create a Python virtual environment by typing this. And then let's wait for a while. And then let's activate our Python virtual environment. And inside of this Python virtual environment, we just need to run this command in order to install Open Web UI. And this process might take a while, since you're probably downloading and installing three or four gigabyte of different files. The installation took several minutes. Now, if you observe over here that your command prompt is frozen, simply press space or enter and you will be able to continue. And now we can simply start Open Web UI by typing this command over here. And over here, let's be patient and let's wait for a while. After some time, you will see that everything is set and you will be able to open Web UI in your web browser. So let's wait and see. 
Next, open your favorite web browser and over here simply type this address localhost 8080 and over here click on get started, enter your name. Here you're just registering on your local computer and you're setting the administrator password and click create admin account and now you're logging, click OK, let's go and here you are. Click here and make sure that the model is selected and let's test the model. Hello, who are you? And let's see the answer and over here you can see the real-time execution of the model. Again, it's going to take a while for the model to load as you can see over here and then the response will be generated in real time. Here it is. So let's test again how to solve a quadratic, quadratic equation. And let's write the quadratic equation x, for example, squared plus 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. And let's see the answer. And it's going to take a while to generate the answer. So let's see what's happening with my GPU. You can see that the GPU is being consumed and let's wait until everything is being generated. I notice over here that sometimes it takes a while for the model to respond and to load in Open Web UI. However, this is relatively quick after some time, after you ask several questions. I don't know why is that, however, it happens. And over here you can see how the response is generated in real time. And one of the things that I like about Open Web UI is that it has a latex interpreter and it nicely shows the solution. You can see how beautifully these equations are formatted. Okay, so you see it works like a charm. And in the background you can hear the fan of my GPU. This means that my GPU is actually working with full power, as you can see over here. And we can stop over here or it will automatically be executed. So it took 42 seconds to think and to solve the equation on my local NVIDIA 3090 GPU. Again, this might be faster in a local terminal, however, I still like better open web UI. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.